Hey guys, back with another night trap guide for you for survival mode. Um, I'll give you some tips and tricks on what I use in order to get to level 66 and unlock junior, lieutenant, and commander trophies to hopefully get you at 100%. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. First tip is just be real quick on your fingers, change in that access code. You need to, you're not going to pick it up the first time and be absolutely perfect. You're going to miss some augers. But you'll get a bit used to the scenes and the lengths of certain auger scenes. And then you can start kind of shifting them in your head to when you have to jump to them first and when you have to jump to them last and adjust your strategy accordingly. I learned that this scene in the upstairs hallway was a long scene. So I figure, okay, if this scene is going to be in the loop, most of the time, if not all the time, it's going to be the last scene I have to trap. So the other ones must be prioritized first. This is another scene that I found to be very long. So when this scene's involved in the in the round, again, you can prioritize the other scenes first and leave this one for last, because typically it's gonna take the longest for you to trap these guys. Red. Now if you notice, I kept missing the guys outside on the roof. They come out relatively fast and I miss a lot of them. So later on I'll show you how I incorporated that into my strategy. Again, miss the guy outside. Now is where I start picking up on the strategy. I started off changing the code from outside since it was such a quick scene. If it started off with this certain music, I would always trap that one first, and then I'd move on from there to the different scenes that I thought would take a little bit longer. So I always started in the bottom right, starting at the seventh round, and did it from there depending on what I saw happening in the driveway right away. See how I did this one last? Because it takes the longest. Back into the corner, change the code as soon as it comes up. And the bathroom also had a very fast scene. So I would highlight the bathroom on the left and leave it here in the driveway. Trap the bathroom back to the driveway. Trap the driveway. Hop back in. It all happens in a split second. You have to be fast. You got to keep track of where your cursor is and what you do. You can obviously miss some, I'm not perfect, I've missed 10 already, but I'm still in. You just gotta hold on, because I find the hardest rounds are the early rounds. It gets easier and I'll show you why. Be down in a bit. Orange. 
See how that bathroom scene was so fast? If it's not the driveway, I feel it's the bathroom. Those will always be really quick ones in the beginning. Some rounds I see it much easier than others. Always right back in that bottom right. Cursor on the on the seat coming in the driveway. I'll shoot him off. I'll pop over. I'll evaluate the other scenes. But always just keep pumping the trap button because sometimes you'll just jump onto one and it'll be ready to go. So I'm not usually a, a trap button pumper, but in this mode, absolutely do. See, I knew from the entryway scene that that's going to take the longest. I still miss that guy, but I know this is going to be the longest. So, always hop somewhere else, check it out, come back. Now you'll notice that in the revamped icon, it's starting to get fuzzy. The later rounds the cameras begin to have quote unquote problems and they become fuzzy see how now there's three that are fuzzy one in the bathroom I just missed the guy actually there's four that are fuzzy um, that I find is easier because it shows you no matter what pretty much where the augs are there's a couple scenes that try to throw you off but it's it's not debilitating I find it a little bit easier than looking at the other icons You'll know exactly where they are, that you can check the rooms real quick, understand the scenes, and the order you think they're going to be in based on seeing them over and over again. The tough part is eventually they become so static you can't see at all. Like You can get an idea from the revamped icons which, which auger scenes you're seeing, but eventually it's so staticky that you can't see at all what scenes they are and you have to look actually at the scene to see which scene it is that's what makes it toughest but still I find the static to be easier because you only check the four rooms that you see static on and then you just evaluate it based on that and you'll see I can have perfect runs here where I had problems with during the first couple rounds when there was no static
Another issue I had with the static was I would lose my cursor in the static. Because the cursor is just like a lighter version as you move it around. So sometimes I had issues on my screen seeing which icon I was on when there's three or four static boxes next to each other. I'm like, wait, is my cursor on the upper right box or is it on the lower right box? And where is it? And it throws you off a little bit. Um, so watch out for that. But bam, right there, right to the bathroom where there's always an early scene. I missed somebody. I hit the kitchen. I missed that guy. And back to the starting position. Change it up. Evaluate the scenes. This one's a longer scene. I always mistake it for a different scene. But still, this guy took even longer, which is good. Alright, at this point you're about to hit your 30 and you would unlock your first achievement. They don't pop in until you finish the game and you quit it. So don't expect to just pop right in after you pass level 30. That's pretty much it for the tip, so I'm just going to let you watch the rest. Understand, just remember, look for the scenes that happen quickly. That's where you want to go start every round and change your code at those scenes. I prefer the driveway. You don't have to do the driveway. I sat in the driveway, and it was between the driveway and the bathroom. There are a couple other scenes that are quick, but I found those to be the most frequent scenes. So if it wasn't in the driveway in the bathroom, I went right to the other ones. Especially if there's static, once the static's in, you go right to the static, evaluate the two or three, pump your button, decide which ones are the fastest, and go in that order. We'll get one, two, three, and then pick, all right, it's gonna be three, then one, then two. Or it's gonna be one, then two, then three. And so on and so forth. Just keep your focus. Learn the longer ones, learn the shorter ones, and you should be able to decipher the mid-range ones in the middle. Enough to get you to level 50 and unlock your achievements. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Use the tips, check out how I did it, and apply it to yours. And good luck. I hope you guys get it.
There we go, we've reached level 50, we've gotten all three trophies at this point, um, but like I said, they do not unlock until after you finish the game and you quit it.
And they finally broke contact with me. And I, you see, I missed a good amount of augers. I missed 71, or actually 69 augers. Um, but I got the commander trophy, and then I got happy anniversary, which is the platinum trophy. So this is the first game I've ever platinum trophied on the PS4. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it helps you guys get your platinum trophies. And I'll see you next time. Take care.